Something interesting at 8.7.29 on the amp or on the uh, power supply. Uh, the fan seems to be spinning faster with the E13009, I believe it is, that Gerald recommended. Uh, and if I swap it out, you'll see in a second. At the same power level, we get a little bit more amp consumption on the uh, load, but the fan seems to be spinning slightly slower. So check that out. One second, I'll swap it out. Here it is with the other transistor. So this is very interesting. It looks more pink with this one, but with the other one, we seem to be getting a little bit more efficiency, it seems like, while the LED is, uh, or the neon lamp is a little dimmer on the other one. So I don't understand that. So it's still spinning fast, but clearly slightly slower. E13009, I believe it is, that Gerald recommended. Uh, and if I swap it out, you'll see in a second, at the same 8.7.67 and this is with uh, the MJL2114 1194G very interesting because when I unplug this that lights up quite nicely but so I swapped it back out you see slightly faster and then if I unplug it though, here's the interesting thing. Doesn't seem like it's glowing as, as bright. Eight point seven volts on the input, point one two amps on the input. We all know that my Mark I coil was doing something very abnormal compared to normal uh, or traditional rodent coil systems. Um, this being it was able to achieve a small amount of over unity with just an induction method, not this open circuit method, but a closed circuit method that I have not seen anybody else achieve with the closed circuit method yet. So uh, immediately I, I saw something interesting when turning this on, I found the resonance range and look at that, it's bright as heck. But not only that, the color looks slightly, slightly purple. Yeah, and now it's changing color. So look at that, it was slightly purple for a second, denoting that we might be getting some kind of ball lightning. Oh, there it is again, slightly purple. It's kind of like pink, kind of pink. Now it goes to red. It might be hard to pick up on this because it's very subtle. So I'm gonna see if it turns out we can, we might not be able to pick this up on the screen, but let's see. Look at, oh yeah, look at that. It's purple and then it goes red. Look at that, guys, look at that. That's ball lightning. That is so crazy. And let's let's look at the okay. So it's slightly purple now. Look at that. That's when it's purple, and then it went back down to red. You see that? So now it's red. The waveform clearly changed. I didn't move the potentiometer. We're gonna change it again, okay? This is really interesting. Okay, it's purple again. Purple. Now it's changing. Waveform's changing. I didn't touch the potentiometer. This is very interesting. I don't know if it's an issue with the potentiometer being too sensitive or it's something to do with my coil or resonance range. Either way, we are getting a lot more power from this coil than any of the others we have. So that's actually a really good sign that the first coil that I actually made is the best one so far. So, um, way to go, Mark 1. Even though you're missing two channels, you're actually performing a little bit better than the Fireball coil. All right, so we have our power supply putting out 10.2 volts, 1.47 amps into the mini stereo amp board, which is outputting two channels. One channel is going to the Roden coil via the red and black wire 
in an input uh, channel to the coil, and the output channel to the coil is the green and yellow wire going to this beautiful circuit right here with this rectified DC fan, three to nine volt, and three LEDs with a 2K ohm resistor. Now on the opposite side, we have another channel going out, putting in the same amount of power, right? Uh, same exact components, 3 LED, 2K ohm resistor, rectifier, 3 to 9 volt DC fan. Now, check this out. We are getting some spin on the fan. The lights are lining, lighting up a little bit. Doesn't look like there's much of a difference in brightness or intensity. Maybe a little bit duller on the coil side, as expected, because there's a lot of resistance in the coil. <coughs> So we're at 60 hertz, now watch this. Change it to 1000 hertz, it's resonance. And look at that, immediately, we get the fan spinning, lights brighting up, uh, shining bright, uh, brighter, and the fan stops. And this gets a little dimmer. Interesting, right? Very interesting. Now I have the uh, probe connected to the um, LED, but it is floating and I don't think I'm, we're picking up a signal there. So I will try to get that signal in the next video. Look at that magnet dance. <laughs> it's literally spinning like a top. Benefactor Boy, can't you hear his voice?